In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the feature arc tool to combine multiple discharge streams and watersheds into one larger watershed. So first we're going to want to start and go to the wizard and define our project boundaries. Just going to go ahead and set all my settings here. Click OK. We're going to go ahead and use the Marlington Business District for the boundary area. You might want to go forward and back to see if your boundary data actually took through. Next we're gonna go ahead and get our elevation data. Just download that from the web. You can get your soil data downloaded from the web here too, but for these pur for the purposes of combining these watersheds we're not gonna need that. Now for computing the topaz, I'm going to go ahead and lower this minimum threshold when computing this so more streamlines will appear, be more a little more accurate. And voila. Now we're going to need to choose let me get a map here to show you the area here. But this is the area we're looking at here. Let's go ahead and say we're going to want to make this location down here our discharge point and we're going to want to incorporate all of these small streamlines along the way. Now the reason for wanting to incorporate all these watersheds or you know, discharge streams together is let's say there's a, a flood wall being built along this river bank here which means if I was to put an outlet point at the lowest thing right here in a watershed and go ahead and try to delineate the watershed here it would know I've built some kind of obstruction here and would only give me the watershed duh, that discharges at for this one point being somewhere like this distance. It won't incorporate all these other little discharge streams. So what we're going to need to do next is close the wizard Go over here to the map module, click on feature arc. You want to go to the feature objects and attributes next. Make sure stream is turned on. And then just click on your outlet point with your feature arc tool and just trace out where your obstruction is going to be. Like the wall, as I said, is going to be along this riverbank, so go ahead and just draw it along the riverbank incorporating all the discharge streams that you want to combine. So as you can see I'm clicking here through every one of these stream discharge streams I want to add to my main one. It's a bit rough. When you get to the end just double click, double left click and as you can see this little blue streamline appeared with arrows telling the flow direction. That represents all the flow from all these different streamlines is going to come down where they normally would to discharge and then just flow along your created uh, feature arc path. So once you've created your feature arc path connecting all your discharge streams watersheds you're not going to want to go back to the wizard. If you go back to the wizard and use its delineation tool it will delete your feature arc path. So instead you're going to going to want to manually click on the drainage module. D go to the DEM tab and define your basin. As you can see, it's now defined a single basin, a uh, drainage basin for this area connecting every single one of these discharge streams in what used to be separate watersheds together. So you're going to want to go back to the DEM, get your basin polygon and now you can compute your basin data from the DEM tab as well. I'm just going to leave mine at square miles and feet, but you can change these options to whatever units you're looking for. But click OK, and there you have it. You now have the basin data for your combined watershed. And you can go ahead and go to display if you'd like, hit display options. As you can see here, it only shows the area for now. You can turn on things like the basin slopes or just 
max flow distance. You can just turn on basically anything you want, click OK, and it'll show you it right here in the watershed. And from this point, you can go ahead and get your soil data and develop a curve number. Go ahead and just to select which hydraulic model you want to use and, you know, define anything you want for the, the watershed you created. But that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the feature arc tool to combine multiple discharge streams and watersheds into one larger one. Thanks.